we've been out this morning visiting places all around Temple Meads, you know, how does it feel to be at this stage of such a huge project? It's a, it's a qualified relief, I'd say. Um, it's, it's, it's been years we've been working on this. First Temple Quarter meetings we had in 2017, pulling together you know, Homes England, Combined Authority, Network Rail, University of Bristol, uh, you know, so it's, it's a huge amount of work. But we have actually, you know, come through a really significant stage, not least securing the near 100 million pounds for the renovation of Temple Mead Station. That on top of the 350 with the LNG site, the half billion with the university campus coming through. Um, but to be at a point now where we're going out for, where we're going out for consultation is a, is a real milestone in the journey of, of delivering this, you know, this opportunity for the city. Mm -hmm. And I think for all, for all Bristolians, you know, we've all grown up using the train at Temple Meads and seeing that view and, you know, using the area around it. And, you know, it's never been, you know, ideal. What, what does it mean for people who live in Bristol? that such huge changes will hopefully happen. I mean, I think the, the point you made there is one that is true and sad. I think we've adjusted ourselves to having a substandard gateway into the, into the city. And I think in many ways, we won't know what it means to have a renovated Temple Meads until actually it's here and we say, wow, you know, we've got a train station to arrive all Leeds, you know, with a proper retail offer, multiple barriers a bus interchange right next to it as well to, uh, with a proper you know physical welcoming cultural gateway into uh, into Bristol as well with houses around where people have got active travel distance as well so they're walking to the station it's a porous eastern entrance a southern entrance that opens up the station to the rest of the city doesn't have the station turning its back on uh, Bristol as well um, it, I can't even engage with what that will actually feel like you know, in, in many ways. I, I, I think it will be when it lands, as the, the, the plans begin to develop and it lands, people will really, will really, uh, uh, you know, will really taste it. Just uh, in 2026, the university campus opens up, the eastern entrance opens up. The first time people start walking through the entrance with a, you know, on a brand new campus, that's, that's a physically nice place to be then they will know what it means. Mm -hmm. uh, but I, I, I know it's exciting. Mm -hmm. Like there's, you know, there's so many components of it. Is there, a, is there, is there something that you're most excited about? Um... Yeah, the train station, mm -hmm. actually. It, it's because, because it's, you know, the, the, the millions of people that will be coming through that, that, that station uh, during its time, uh, you know, really uh, reinvigorating the Brunel offer, the Brunel legacy uh, for Bristol. What an incredible thing. I mean, this, it, Temple Island's exciting, you know, conferencing facilities, you know, 350 million. Really exciting to have a new university uh, campus. Really excited to talk about the 10,000 homes that will come. But uh, if I think about kind of narrative and symbolism and, and the heart of Bristol, the chance to really bring that station back to life in, in the fullness of its glory is incredibly exciting. And what obstacles do you envisage? Uh, there'll be many challenges to come. Uh, finance will be a challenge. What happens in the wider economy? What happens with interest rates, um, inflation, and the consequences of Brexit and our access to materials and what that does to build cost? There are many things that are, are going to be in our, in our control that we're going to have to be navigating. We build into our plans preparation for uh, those changes to the extent that uh, we can. But in the middle of a world of uncertainty, in which crisis has become the new normal, it seems, what we can do is offer certainty of ambition and plan and commitment and partnership. Uh, so we control the things we can control and offer as much certainty in the middle of all that as we can. And we best bear in mind, there is lots of money out there looking for places to invest and they want to invest in places that are offering certainty. Uh, and, and we are in this, the scale of this opportunity, and the level of political commitment we've put to it, the alignment we've brought around with our partnerships, both in the city region and with national government, offer a level of certainty that I would suggest that few other places would be able to match. Mm -hmm. And um, what, 